saying is that you didn't need to throw anything at them. They were just having a laugh. Yeah, a very big laugh that you thought well enough to join in with. You know what blokes are like. We'll laugh at any old stuff. Is that how they referred to me? No, I meant that we have a lower humour threshold. <sighs> Your level of morality underwhelms me. <sighs> Did you put this in my pocket? What is it? An avoidance of answering. OK, smart ass, so don't tell me. Don't expect me to know why some half-stoked, love-struck bint stuck that in your pocket by mistake, either. Thank you, Madam Zaza. Psychic ability is not required where you're concerned. Come on, give. This isn't psychic. It's holistic. Alternative therapy. Crystals, perfumes, that sort of thing. Yeah, that's it. All the new age stuff the lefties harp on about. You're suddenly very knowledgeable. Not really. It says it there. Hmm. Doesn't explain what it's doing in your pocket, though, does it? <sighs> does it matter? What are you doing? Getting a drink, if that's all right with you. It's all very well playing the innocent, but I know what this was doing in your pocket. So now we are the psychic one. Like I said before, not in your case. I know because I keep my eyes open. But not your mouth shut. Yeah, I remember who this psychic fairy was now. Floating about Alan's flat, trying to read palms and stroke auras. She was the one who held your rapt attention for a large portion of the evening. Oh, her. Yes, her. The angelic blonde with the mystic orbs of desire down the front of her top. We had an interesting conversation, yes. I don't doubt it. Though I'm sure your viewpoints were not on the same level. And they say we're the ones hung up on breasts. It's so nice to know that your partner would rather spend time with some gypsy Rose Lee than you. Well, I would have liked to have done. But you seem far more into the little party you had going on yourself. What do you mean? Oh, come off it. You didn't need me interrupting that little tete-a-tete -tete you were so engrossed in with that dancer. Dancer? Yeah, the reject from Pineapple Dance Studios. <laughs> He is not a reject. He studied under Barishnikov. He told me. That'll be the poster on his bedroom wall. He's danced on Broadway. Ealing. He's been in Miss Saigon. I don't care where she's from. Well, if you weren't going to talk to me, I had to find someone who would. Talking? Is that what you were doing? Or was he just whispering sweet nothings into your ear? The music was loud. Of course. <sighs> where are you going? Toilet. Right. Well... Maybe I can get that drink now. Oh, this is silly. You finally noticed. Why don't we? If this is going to happen after every party we go to, there's only two ways round it as far as I can see. Go on. Either we stop going altogether. Or? Or we go on our own, separately. <laughs> That's great. Perfect. That way we can also flirt to our heart's content without having to worry about feeling guilty afterwards. Yes, why don't we do that? Right now, I'm more inclined to see it as a way of getting away from you. Door's right there if you're so keen to use it. It's quite clear there's nothing to keep you here. Nothing after three years that you feel worth having a commitment for, or two. You don't really believe that any more than I do. No matter how dumb I may act, no matter how much I piss you off, I will always, always want to be here with you. I'd be lost otherwise. Yeah, with the first step. Don't think I don't know it. <laughs> You've got me. For better or worse? Oh, for better, I would hope. But when will that be? It's like you said, it all comes down to having that commitment. Knowing for sure in your heart that what you want is right and good for you. 
And you're still thinking about that, are you? Uh, no. So you haven't been thinking about it at all? What? No. Uh, look, just because I say something isn't true, it doesn't automatically mean that the opposite is. What the hell does that mean? It means that while, yes, I have been seriously considering our future, I get the impression that, well, this isn't exactly the best of conditions in which to ask you to marry me. No, I suppose not. I'd probably have told you to stick it in your smart-ass department anyway. Precisely. So what's stopping you? Fear, really. Of commitment? No, of... No, of the actual deed. The whole getting down on one knee thing. Scared of looking a twat? No. Scared that it has to be absolutely right. For you. Why me? Well, so you'll say yes, of course. <laughs> it's no wonder you men get things so wrong so often. It's not the where or when. It's not even so much the how. It's the fact that you do actually get down on one knee and do it. Oh. Precisely. So does this mean I can expect to be taken to a swish restaurant in a new dress and matching accessories <laughs> at some point in the foreseeable future? Well, I could just burst in on you on the toilet. <laughs> Either would be fine, but if I were you, I would consider which would be the better. Duly noted. I love you, you idiot. I love you, you silly cow. <laughs> How about some breakfast? Oh, you want me to cook? No, I was thinking more of eating out. Mm, swish restaurant. <laughs> Not at this time in the morning. But we could find somewhere. Somewhere romantic, perhaps. <laughs> 